Hey y'all, welcome to Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. Now, today's going to be a little bit of a different episode. You see, I had the history of Ronda Rousey figures planned to film this weekend, but USPS gone and lost one of my packages, so that's going to have to be delayed. So I was going through the comments, and one of my subscribers really has wanted to see my collection. Now, I know I don't have the biggest or even the best collection of women's wrestling figures, but I'm proud of it, and it is a new collection, so it has plenty of room to grow. But I have some special items in my collection that I'd love to show you, so that being said, let's dive in. I'll show you some stuff, give you some stories, and if you see any figures in my collection that you want to see reviewed, make sure you let me know and I'll try my best to get to it. Alright, so as you can tell by how I have the setup up here, there's no real rhyme or reason as to how I have them ordered, but as my collection grows, I'm going to start having an idea as to how to display them. But I'm just going to show you my, my collection up close here. So we got a truly underrated elite, Shayna Baszler. We got Sonya Deville, who looks awesome underneath that robe. However, if I try to take that robe off right now, she'll probably fall off the shelf. Homegirl's barely hanging on. We got Zelina Vega, Kyrie Sane, one of my early reviews. Bianca Belair, basic, love that pose. Knoxville, holla. We got Lana, Series 109. The other one is in my daughter's collection, as you'll see. We got Tamina Snuka in her American Gladiators-esque type attire. We got Asuka with her headdress blocking basic Alicia Fox, which is one of the first women's figures I got, actually. One of the ones that popped my daughter's attention at the store, and I was like, yeah, I'll buy you that, and then just kind of snowballed. We got Alundra Blaze, Wendy Richter, Sherry Martell. In the middle here, this is kind of a mishmash here because, like I said, I used to have the Lacey Evans mint on card displayed here, but I moved it. We got a Bailey, I got a five below, basic. Mandy Rose barely standing up. Very loose ankle joints. We got Carmella doing the moonwalk. Holla at your boy. AJ Lee Basic, Series 30, I believe. We got China Elite right in the front. Robo Tamina. Now, something I'm definitely going to do a review on in the future are Elite Page here. We got the Iconics, the two very special Elites. Nikki Cross, I have both her basics coming whenever it gets to ringside overnight. Ruby Riot, Dana Brooke, Nikki Bell, I've reviewed. Emma, she's in one of my countdowns. Awesome Bailey Network Spotlight. We got Brie Bella, who I reviewed. AJ Lee and Alicia Fox, who I reviewed. So let's keep on moving. Let's move it on down here. In this cubby, we kind of have like Attitude Era-ish type women. We got Trish and Lita in the front. That two-pack battle pack that I reviewed already. The Evolution Chair was stolen by my daughter. Um, that's okay, though. She, she's playing with it. Now we got my pride and joy, Melina. Love her. We got this limited edition figure back here. I'll try to get a closer look. Now I am going to open this up for the future and do a review on it. It's really cool. It's got a fabric jean skirt, a little chain belt, water bottle, microphone, and it looks awesome. And Jax wasn't really known for making their females look good. They did a horrible, horrible job in my opinion. So with her, they did awesome. So I absolutely cherish that figure. Um, I also have this basic of her, one of the first Lucy's I got. I made little fur boots for her. I'm not much of a custom guy, just because I'm not very good at it. I don't really know much about it. So I literally just got some fabric and put some fur on her boots there. It works. We got a Royal Rumble Elite Lita. I think there's better Litas out there. The head that she came with is pretty bad in my opinion, but this looks okay. Um, it's good, good placeholder for now. I think this Lita looks better in the front. Look at her. What up? Now we got the Mickey James Elite that I did review on my channel. Now moving over to the middle here. We have Taya Valkyrie in the front. Why she's in the front? I mean, she looks cool <laughs> from a distance, not really up close, but like I said, I'll probably rearrange. We got both Sony DeVille Basics in there. We got a Page Basic 105, the Stephanie McMahon Elite I reviewed. WrestleMania Basic Stephanie. That Basic Alicia Fox, which is awesome. One of the best. We got that Sarah Logan basic and the Charlotte from the Battle Pack I reviewed. All right. So as we move down, I just want to say that... Ooh, I got cat hair floating everywhere. Say what's up, Luke? What up? All right, so the history video I did with Sasha Banks was an absolute blast. I loved collecting all her figures. I loved looking at the attires and seeing what they were based off of. And also ranking them, getting a closer look. That being said, I've been working on my Becky Lynch collection there. With a real Becky Lynch, please stand up. Now I'm going to open that SummerSlam one whenever I do the history video of hers, but I love the artwork, so I'm just going to wait until I do that video. 
But first I was going to do Ronda Rousey, because she only has seven releases, and they're all pretty cool. So, that being said, quick story is I needed both her basic 105 releases to finish my Ronda collection and film a history video, which I was going to do this weekend. So I ordered one off eBay, one off Amazon, regular on Amazon. eBay was the Chase version with the red shorts, as you can see over there. Amazon one comes, it's the Chase eBay one was supposed to come that day, never came. USPS had to file a claim. They can't find it. It's been like, you know, a few days. So that being said, I still need the basic 105, which I'm on the hunt for, um, so I can complete my Ronda Rousey collection and do a quick history video and ranking. I think that'll be fun. And I'm continuing to work on my Becky. Now, the only reason I don't have it complete is because I know I can get all the figures pretty easily right now, except for the ultimate. And the ultimate's going to be a pain. It's back ordered, and I drug my feet on getting it just because I thought the head scan was horrible. But I'll be on the hunt for it, and once I get it, we'll do a history of Becky. Now, moving on to the other shelves, we just have, I call them like shelf holders right now because it's an NXT replica toy belt, women's championship, and then the Raw Women's Championship. Now, my daughter loves playing with these. She loves wrestling around with me, holding the belt up. So I put them on the lower shelf so she can she can take them. But as I get more women's figures, they will be replacing those belts just because eventually I'd like the nice ones, you know, the metal ones, the, I guess, replicas, you would call them. These are the toy ones. So I got these Alexa Bliss gloves at a live event. Um, we got Nikki Bella Funko Pop there. It's one of the first women's things I got. Let's continue on with my women's figure collection here and on that top shelf behind me. We have my three 10 out of 10 scored figures. We got Basic 110 Liv Morgan, which is probably my favorite basic. You have to check out that review on my channel if you haven't seen it. It was a lot of fun to film, that beginning segment. And then we have Elite 69 Liv Morgan. No surprise, this thing's awesome. I actually unboxed it, one of my first reviews. Um, now an interesting thing that I found out since I filmed that review, after doing some research, is the shirt I used to think was a unique mold, but it's actually a reused part from uh, AJ Lee's early figures, probably around 2013. And this Stephanie is a true example of a figure that you can't really appreciate unless you have it in your hands. Because I wasn't in a rush to get this figure, really had no interest, and I just got it because I didn't have a Stephanie McMahon Elite. And then I opened it and I was like, holy crap, this figure's perfect. The detail, the molding, the face, it's awesome. I also reviewed that one. And over here we have my Elite 17 Kelly Kelly. What makes this so special is, for one, this is my holy grails. I just love this, love this figure. It is the very first female Elite, and that makes it very special. Considering this channel is completely committed and devoted to the women's division and the figures of the women's division. So this is a groundbreaking figure. Now Elite Series 19 Miss Elizabeth over here looking classy. Love it. And this Charlotte WrestleMania basic was from WrestleMania 34, which is where my daughter and I really connected and bonded over wrestling. So this is a very special figure to me, and it's also my first review. And back here, this little wooden house, I got it back in the day just to have as a prop, and my daughter insisted on painting it, so I keep it in the back. That way she's a part of this. So let's move down. So moving on down, we got my Sasha shelf. I just have some of her cards in the background there. Now, these figures I did do a history of, so I won't cover them in detail, but, you know, I love this shelf, and her basic 112's coming out. I can't wait to order that, add it to my shelf. Don't know what it's going to look like, but hopefully it's got blue hair. Now, this bottom shelf might be the most special shelf I have. And the reasoning is, when I was putting these shelves up, my daughter insisted that she have one. And since I literally fell in love with the women's division and women's wrestling because I saw her reaction to seeing these larger than life superhero women come out and I was like, holy crap, that's how I looked at wrestlers as a kid. And that's so awesome that my daughter has these strong, powerful, beautiful women to look up to. So that being said, this shelf is my daughter's and she decorates it however she wants. I think Naomi was just hanging out, sitting there for a couple of reviews. Um, Natalia sometimes has her shoulders and ears on, sometimes doesn't, but... Anyway, these are figures that my daughter has claimed. Um, these are some of her favorites. That Charlotte was probably the first one that I got for her. But this shelf is always all over the place, and I absolutely love it. So in my reviews, if you look in the background at my figures here, you'll be able to see how my daughter set it up and 
how she wanted it for that video. Now this Emma figure is my newest one, and I love this. It's so cool. Represents that Emmalina short-term gimmick here, but it's cool. So some of the things I've made for my channel, I didn't make. I, I bought, painted, worked on. This little stop sign. It's supposed to be pink, white, and yellow, my channel colors, but I'm colorblind, so I think that pink might be a little too dark. Now moving down to the LJV, I painted those. Now what I love about those is if I turn off the lights here, I got some little lights and I could get them to light up kind of like a uh, stoplight. So I absolutely love that. I think that's fun. And that was a lot of work, honestly, but that's been a lot of fun in this channel. All right, so before we start looking at more of my women's figures, this ring I made, and it appeared in a lot of early reviews of mine. I made it from scratch, stuff around the house. And as you can see, I got two cats and Luke and Leia. They got a hold of it, chewed it, it's ruined, but my daughter loves it. I just actually got a bunch of cheap materials from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to make another ring. And I'm going to video it and just kind of show how I made a cheap display ring that looks pretty cool. So going on to these figures. So this is my daughter's Ben, one she loves playing with. Her favorite ones are these little short, it was a short-lived line, the superstars, which are like kind of Barbie-looking versions of the women. We got Sasha, Natalia, and Bailey, her three favorites. As far as figures she's taken off my shelf and claimed as her own, this is probably her favorite, which is Lana in the Chase Blue. Now, we have HBK, which I'll probably put on my guy shelf, I'll show you in a second, with the IC title came with Maurice. Speaking of Maurice, this was one of my favorite elites that I had displayed because it just looks stunning. It's the Walgreens Women's Division exclusive. Comes with a hat too, but my daughter just loved this figure. So I let her have it. You know, that's what it's all about, sharing that bond of connection. And she colored her a little bit, but you know what? This is her, so eventually I'll get another for display. She likes my Elite 77 Liz I reviewed. She has her own Naomi. Love it. Got the uh, Elites coming. Now, whenever we play with just her women's figures, I'm always Carmella. That's always who I play with, with her. And she has that Charlotte that I have on the shelf. She has her own because this is what got us into women's wrestling, basically, that WrestleMania 34. She's got Brizango. The zombies don't belong in there. She's got her own Ronda and Andrade. And then she randomly took my Chuck and made a shirt for him. So there's Chuck, Billy somewhere. We're going to look in this random box here. Now, this box has some women's figures that I plan on doing something with, like a video review or a countdown in the future or whatnot. So here are some Lucy's. You got this basic Carmella. You got Mandy Rose's first uh, figure in line, this basic. Now, we got this Battle Pack Iconics. And then we have this Charlotte Flair. Now, take a look at this face. Tell me what list you think this will be. And the worst basics, maybe? Yeah. Anyway, so looking at some of these boxed ones that I haven't reviewed yet, we got this basic Lana. Don't really know what to do with her yet. We have this awesome Becky Elite. This is an early Becky Elite. Now look how sad her face is. <laughs> this kind of got me kickstarted on my Becky collection because I saw all the dust on it, and I'm like, that's a cool figure. I'm going to buy it. So I'll be reviewing that at some point soon. Now, this Nia Jax Elite review is coming soon because this figure, I can't wait to get a closer look at it. I mean, this is going to be great. All right, moving on. We have Ember Moon, which I posted last week. I got her in the mail last week. Can't wait to do that. And then some random TNA ones we have. We have Madison Rain. I'll review that at some point. And then I have a review for Miss Tessmacher here coming up. I actually love this figure. I looked for this figure for a long time and finally got it. So I'll be doing a review on her at some point. And then this is an old school throwback here that I can't wait to open up and review. It's Molly Holly's only figure. This is Jax, I believe, during the uh, R3 Tech days. So this will be cool. Can't wait to go over it. So my channel is completely committed and devoted to women's wrestling. However, I have picked up some male wrestlers over the years. I have tons of bone-crunching action superstars at my parents' house. But this shelf right here is kind of my 90s shelf here. And I need to put Shawn Michaels back on here. Anyway, these are guys that were special to me growing up. The Macho Man was my favorite wrestler as a kid. Now, the reason I have Mabel and IRS in the front is because my earliest wrestling memory was when I was seven years old. And 
I saw the 1994 King of the Ring with my grandpa, dad, and brother on Father's Day, and that's the one that Owen Hart won. So that's very memorable for me, and that was the opening match was Mabel and IRS, so I love that. Now moving over, we got my Hurricane cabinet here. I know it's only got two figures, but I actually have a lot of Hurricane figures that my parents I'm going to have to transfer over and put here. Now just looking at this, I have my Raw ticket from March 10th, 2003 in Cleveland, Ohio. Now what, what makes that so special and why it's on the shelf is, you know, I was a huge Hurricane fan huge i had my bright neon green hurricane shirt on that night now through a chain of events somehow he ended up in the main event of that raw in cleveland that night and he actually pinned the rock one two three and won that match so there's some interference by austin but either way seeing the hurricane victorious over the rock and the hurricane was a mid carter at the time so my favorite wrestler standing on top and winning that night was just amazing so this is going to be my little hurricane shelf so i need to add to it and get some figures from home so this is a non-wrestling related toy shelf here. This is my Ant-Man shelf. Now he is my favorite superhero by far. I have a lot in common with Scott Lang and I just fell in love with his whole character. Now being a single father like him and me being so in love and my daughter meaning the whole world to me, it's really easy to relate to him and his story. So it's pretty cool. My favorite quote from that movie is to become the hero she already thinks you are and I literally live my life every day to try to be a hero for my daughter. So, love it. Now speaking of the, the mushy sentimental stuff, this is kind of my sentimental shelf too. So the reasoning is, you know, I've had a dark past. I've had a lot of issues and I look to pro wrestling as kind of a form of therapy or as an outlet. And I wrote a letter to the Edge and Christian podcast a couple years ago. And they actually read it on air and gave excellent words of encouragement, motivation, and it just, it meant a lot to me. It really motivated me and pushed me in the right direction. And then on top of that, I got my Lacey Evans box figure back there too because, you know, I wrote her a letter and she sent a cameo to me after I requested it. And it was very sincere, very heartfelt, very detailed, and she just really said things that warmed my heart and uh yeah I, I hold her near and dear so this is my little sentimental shelf but putting the mushiness aside let's check out some of my figures I brought from my parents house the last time I was there y'all might like to see so I brought some of my old collection back with me after the last time I visited my parents and I'll show you what I brought back I mean I have a bunch over there still but you know when I was in high school I collected at a time where it, it I felt weird for doing it, but now that there's a community, it, it's awesome, and I'm, I'm so happy, but one of the things I picked up when I was in high school is this Hulk Still Rules 3-pack from Kmart. Now, I'm glad I held on to this, because I remember when I saw it on the shelves, I was like, oh my god, this is way too cool to pass up. So, it's pretty neat. It's got all the, not all the different era Hogan's, but it's got three pretty key ones in that R3 body style. Now, I got this little Jim the Anvil Nightheart Street Racer kind of random but you know i have a british bulldog viper somewhere too now i thought this kurt angle was cool it's got the little magazine image in the back i love the the cloth goods vest and the little plastic hat i always thought that was neat um this mike awesome was pretty special to me because i had a short period or a short window where i watched ecw on friday nights on tnn and uh, I was a huge Mike Awesome fan. He was the champ during that little time that I watched it. So when I saw this at KB Toys, I knew I had to get it. And yeah, I'll keep this forever. And then I got this Raw 10th Anniversary Gold Dust that I love. I read his book and it's very inspirational, motivational. And I just, I love Gold Dust. So I think that's a sharp looking figure. Now the most special one to me is this Bone Crunching Action Series 2 Owen Hart. Now, like I mentioned before, my earliest wrestling memory is King of the Ring 1994, where he won. And on his trunks, you know, it has King of Hearts. It really depicts that Owen that I just loved. I was a little brother. I had an older brother, and I just looked up to Owen. So this is a prized piece of my collection to me. So moving on to what I have on the walls. This is my very first autographed women's wrestling piece it's a rob schamberger art print with sasha banks's autograph in this the corner of it so i am in love with this piece here now in the corner this is my very first relic card this is a sasha banks t-shirt worn relic card now as i'll show you here i used to collect those women's division box sets from walmart 
like this here. But I very rarely ever got any relics. So I just try to display them nicely. I need to go in and fix it a little bit. But I just put them in a frame. Uh, someday I'd like to have a bigger frame and put almost all my cards that I have. Now, some of my other relics I got are this Tamina event used matte relic from TLC, I believe 2018. And I absolutely love this. This might be one of my favorite cards ever, one of my favorite items. It's this uh, matte relic from the Evolution pay-per-view with Carmelo on it, and I absolutely love that, like, so much. Thanks for stopping by Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. I really appreciate y'all seeing my collection. I know it's a pretty small collection, but considering it's only been a few months since I really started building on my women's division collection, it's, it's going to keep growing. And I want y'all to hit like and subscribe, join the community, and I want you to be a part of it. So I'm really excited for the future. Now that being said, I have Elite Series 78 Naomi, both versions, and also Basic Series 111 Nikki Cross figures that should be here in a couple weeks. And as soon as I get them, I'm going to review them for y'all. Have a good night. Thank you.